Hey everybody, I'm Chris Dickerson, and this is going to be a quick Q&A of my life and growing up. First question comes from Really Jacobs. What was the very first sport you fell in love with? Well, <clears throat> the first sport I fell in love with um, was football. I, I had played soccer and basketball before that, but I was small enough to where it wasn't really fun yet. Um, nobody really knew what they were doing. Uh, football, though. It, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I didn't start kicking until I was a sophomore in high school. So I think I started in the sixth grade. So up until then, I played uh, running back, wide receiver, uh, defensive back, stuff like that. I wasn't the biggest, but um, I did have a lot of fun. Uh, question number two comes from five different people. Uh, sports played growing up. How competitive are you by nature? So I played soccer, basketball, football, baseball. So competitive, very competitive. I didn't like to lose. Um, for example, my freshman year, our basketball team went around 1-12. and 12. Just not good, not good as a team. I did have a lot of fun, but I was very competitive, and I wanted to win all the time. Number three, tell us about your soccer career. Um, this is from Soccer Brain Trust. So, soccer career, I started um, when I was really little. I want to say like five or six, and uh, I'll quote my high school soccer coach whenever I say this. Before you get into high school soccer, even some middle school soccer's were like this. He always loved comparing it to a rugby scrum. So what that is, if you don't know, it's when a rugby player gets tackled, everybody piles on top. So imagine a soccer ball being kicked. All these little kids run into this big group, and they're just kicking it around back and forth, and it pops out. They all run to that. So they're not trying to play soccer, but... You know, they're just out there running around having a good time. So <clears throat> did that from when I was really little. Uh, I quit doing that, played um, basketball, uh, football. Came back to soccer in eighth grade and followed that uh, until the end of high school. This one's from Crenshaw07. Have you always bled orange? Yes. From a very young age, I remember watching my uncle watch Tennessee football games and he would always wear this orange Tennessee football jersey. You know from really then on I was always a Tennessee fan. They haven't always had the best team but it's usually exciting to watch whether that's a, a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but before we skip on to the next question I'll slide in a little um, 1998, never forget. Okay, question number five. This comes from Nick Ennis. Where is your family slash parents from? Um, what do they do? So my dad passed away in 2008. Uh, he was from basically the same area where we live now, Limestone, uh, the Greene County part of Tennessee. Um, my mom is from Sullivan County. So that would be more of the Kingsport area of Tennessee. Um, what do they do? So mom works as a in the uh, cafeteria at the high school I went to, Daniel Boone High School. Um, that is in Gray, Tennessee. Number six, this one comes from Dad Gummit, 42. Where did you meet slash start dating your beloved Brittany? It was in the cafeteria. Um, she likes to tell this story of how she saw me from across the lunchroom, asked her friend, who's that? Uh, got my number from her friend. And we started dating probably a week later. We went to three proms together. We will be together nine years this month. Uh, we'll also be married three years. 
and smile. Number seven. This one comes from Gru uh, S. How did you get hooked on disc golf? How old were you? Um, I was probably about 17. I think it was my junior year in high school. A couple of kids on the soccer team uh, told me it'd be fun to go out and try this. I'd never tried it before, so I was like, yeah, let's go try it. We threw their discs they had at the time and uh, had a lot of fun. So I was basically hooked from the beginning. Me and a couple others went back to play uh, maybe a week later. We went to uh, Dick's and got a starter pack. So not a starter pack each, just bought one starter pack and we split the discs up um, one apiece. We played a couple of holes and then we found out, you know, they, they fly differently. So we alternated them every other hole. Number eight comes from Vino. I'm sorry if I don't get this right. Silvano. Nope. Silvola. Silvola. Maybe. Might be it. Who is the first person you played disc golf with? Um, somebody on my high school soccer team. It was either John Weaver or Marshall Wagner. I'm not completely sure. Last question, number nine. Starting off, go Vols. I'm from Knoxville, but I live in Malaysia. What was your go-to course in Tennessee as a newbie? So, the course I started playing on, uh, it's called Warrior's Path. It's a shorter course, all par threes except for like, maybe th three holes, and that's depending on what uh, pin position it's in. So, uh, for about the first year of playing disc golf, I drove 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my house to Warriors uh, to play. Little did I know, um, about three minutes from where I was living was the number one course in Tennessee, uh, Harmon Hills. So, I drove by that every time I went to play for about a year and didn't even know it was there. Um, so, that sums it up. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. See you on the course.